Commerce National Drug Council touting the success of their drug-free schools program. They say since the establishment of the program many years ago, drug use among school students is reportedly down. Fern Carey tells us more. Bahamas National Drug Council surveys reportedly show that drug use among students, even among the most vulnerable group of 12 to 14 year olds, is not up. Executives believe the Drug Free Schools program is driving that success. Drug Council Administrator is Dr. Bridget Roll. While we don't have actual numbers, and I would really not want to give actual numbers, we are seeing, we have not seen an increase per se. In, in drug usage among youngsters, the numbers have been pretty steady. Um, what we are concerned with, of course, is the use of alcohol among young persons and the drug of choice, uh, which is marijuana. Finance officer Paul Williams believes schools and the wider community are playing a major role in the fight against drugs. Uh, we have uh, put forth some qualitative uh, assessments where we received comments from uh, guidance counselors, principals, community leaders that the efforts that we have put forth thus far uh, are in fact producing positive results. The random samplings did not include all students, so officials continue to strongly urge parents and guardians to assist in arresting an alarming trend where children as young as nine are being exposed to drugs and alcohol. Children learn by what they see and what they see their parents doing or their older siblings doing. And so if that is all they know, then they think that is okay. And so why not if mommy is doing it? If, if, if daddy is doing it, if my sisters and brothers are doing it, then it must be okay. But we have to tell them that it's not okay. Fern Carey, CNS News. Thanks, Fern. Hundreds of young men have benefited from the Eagle Academy Life Management Empowerment and Project Reentry programs offered by the National Lead Institute. These alternative programs provide personal development and life management training for not only prison inmates, but young men who were suspended and expelled from schools. Social activist and founder Troy Clark applauds Her Majesty's Prisons for their partnership in helping to build the Project Reentry program over the past three years. We have five sessions there at a, for our pre-release program and we are partnered with the case management and the pre-release and they are doing an awesome job and we are working alongside with them and as a result we have started our post-release program where we have at least five former inmates in our post-release program. Clark says the National Lead Institute has also received national and international recognition for the rehabilitative efforts. The National Lead Institute has been accepted into the American Correctional Association as well as the International Third World Leaders Association. The National Lead Institute has actually been given scholarship from the Department of Corrections, North Carolina, where we have trained two of our personnel in the art of total, becoming a totally responsible person. Just last year, the National Lead Institute was awarded by the Ministry of, uh, Ministry of Youth as the most outstanding youth organization for 2011. Residents today received free training in CPR, basic life support and CPR awareness during special classes at S.E. McPherson Junior High School. The initiative is part of the activities marking Heart Month. Co -co coordinator for the American Heart Association, Tercina Nixon, talks about the importance of the program. A lot of lay people do not know and they also don't know that the majority of, of cardiac arrests happen at home or outside the hospital. Yes. And um, because of that, the more people we can teach about the life-saving um, act of giving CPR, then, the, of course, the more victims' lives we will be able to save. Teacher Abigail Roll says the initiative is timely. So I feel as if that is very beneficial for us as president and upcoming teachers to be able to assist our class that we have and also those in the communities in cases of emergency.